माई डियर भिवार्स ओलकाम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल पार्सनेट टूडे उल शल डिसकस अबाउट पैराल अपारेशन अफ ट्रांसफर्मार हाई पैराल अपारेशन अफ ट्रांसफर्मार्स इज नीडेड एंड दि कंडिशन अफ पैरालिंग ट्रांसफर्मार्स एज यूजल आई हैव एन एपिल टू यू माई डियर भिवार्स प्लीज सबसक्राइब टू माई चैनल शेयर एंड लाइक दि भिडियो नाउ प्लीज वाच एट फार्ष्ट वी हैव टू नो What is parallel operation of transformer? Parallel operation of transformers means HV and LV of two or more transformers are connected to same source bus bars and same load bus bars respectively. to explain the necessity of parallel operation of transformer let us suppose an arrangement at one substation where a transformer is engaged to feed load getting power from a source through two numbers of incoming feeders and catering load through three numbers of lv feeders if the amount of power to be catered is greater than that of supplied by one transformer tier 1 it become necessary to employ two or more transformer in parallel suppose the transformer 1 having capacity 10 mva and catering load through three number of feeders is more than 10 mva and sometimes if it become more than double then two or more transformer are to be employed therefore to meet the additional demand of a power system it become necessary either to replace the existing transformer by an transformer of greater capacity or to install additional transformers to meet the extra demand the cost of making such changes will in many cases be greater than if the original transformer is connected in parallel with another to carry the total load conditions for satisfactory operation of three phase transformers in parallel same voltage ratio that is same trans ratio and same both primary and secondary voltage rating same percentage impedance and xyr ratio vector group are same same phase angle shift same phase sequence identical position of test changer same kv ratings same frequency to run the three phase transformer in parallel some conditions should be satisfied which have been discussed here transformation or trans ratio and voltage rating should be same transformers of same trans ratio but different voltage ratings should not be paralleled as example a transformer of voltage rating 66 by 33 kv of transformation ratio 2 another transformer 132 by 66 kv of transformation ratio also 
that transformer should not be made parallel as their voltage rating are different one of 66 by 33 kV and another of 132 by 66 kV though their transformation ratio are same. Percentage impedance of the transformers should be same to utilize their full capacity. Percentage impedance is expressed as percentage of voltage drop at winding due to its impedance. Percentage impedance is equal to Iz into 100 by V where I current V applied voltage Z impedance of the winding. Suppose a transformer have percentage impedance is 12% means on application of 100 volt at the winding the drop of voltage is 12 volt due to windings impedance and output voltage will be 88 volt. To know percentage of load shared by the two transformers when connected in parallel. Loading on the transformer 1 is equal to total load KVA into Z2 by Z1 plus Z2. Loading on transformer 2 is equal to total load KVA into Z1 by Z1 plus Z2 where Z1 and Z2 is equal to percentage impedance of transformer 1 and transformer 2 respectively. Generally, transformer with lower percentage impedance shares more load than that of higher percentage impedance rating. If the percentage impedance or ratio of resistance to reactance are not same, there will be no circulating of current. But the division of load between the transformers or among the transformers when applied will no longer be proportional to their KVA or MVA ratings. Hence, the capacity of the transformer cannot be fully utilized. Vector group of both transformers should be same. The vector group indicates the windings configuration and the difference in phase angle between them. Example, a Y HV winding and delta LV winding with a 30 degree lead denoted as YD11. Different combinations of winding connections will result in different phase angle between the voltage on the windings. Transformers connected in parallel must have the same vector group because the mismatching of phase angles as well as connections will result in circulating current and short circuit of system which have detrimental effect. Phase sequence should be same. Phase sequence refers to the order of attending maximum value of the terminal voltage of three phase system. In RYB phase sequence, R phase attains maximum value first, followed by Y and B respectively. 
in parallel operation a transformer of RYB phase sequence should not be connected with other transformer of having phase sequence BRY and in that case short circuit will be occurred. Tap position of both transformers should be same. During tap changing, secondary voltage of both should be the same. At RTCC panel, master follower arrangement should be incorporated to avoid any mismatch of tap position. Voltage at different tap are different. So, there may be a probability of circulating current through secondary winding due to voltage mismatching. The expression of circulating current IC is equal to Ea minus Cb divided by Zda plus Zv, where Ea and Ev, the induced voltage of transformer A and transformer B, Zda and Zv, the percentage impedance respectively. KVA rating should be same. If two or more transformers of same KVA rating and same percentage impedances are connected in parallel, then load sharing percentage between them will be equal. If two or more transformers of same KVA rating but unequal percentage impedance are connected in parallel, then load sharing percentage between them will be unequal and transformer of lower percentage impedance will share more load. If two or more transformer of defined KV rating with unequal percentage impedance are connected in parallel, then load sharing bit percentage between them will be unequal and transformer of lower percentage impedance will share more load. Advantages of transformer parallel operation. It is usually economical to install another transformer in parallel instead of replacing the existing transformer by a single large unit. The cost of a sphere unit in the case of two parallel transformers of equal rating is also lower than that of a single large transformer. In addition, it is preferable to have a parallel transformer for the reason of reliability. With this, at least half of the load can be supplied with one transformer out of service. If numbers of transformers run in parallel, shutdown of any one of them for maintenance purpose may be an advantage. Other parallel transformers in system will serve the load without total interruption of power. If any one of the transformers run in parallel is tripped due to a fault, other parallel transformers in the system will share the load. Hence, power supply may not be interrupted if these shared loads do not make other transformers overloaded. Disadvantages of transformer parallel operation Increase of short circuit currents that increase necess necessary breaker capacity. The risk of circulating currents running from one transformer to another transformer. Circulating current 
that diminish load capability and increased losses the bus ratings and isolator ratings require to be increased paralleling transformers reduced the equivalent impedance significantly which creates the high short circuit current in the event of fault therefore some current limiters are needed as example reactors fuses high impedance buses etc the control and protection of three units in parallel is more complex hope it would be helpful to all concerned thank you for watching this video